Kia ora everybody and welcome back. I have recently got back from the Cook Islands so I have some tips for you guys and three things that you must do if you are visiting Rarotonga. Number one, if you're visiting the Cook Islands you must do the Captain Tama's Lagoon Cruise. It was my absolute favorite and I rate it 10 out of 10. It is $89 per person for an adult and you get to spend four hours on the cruise. They take you on a glass bottom boat, you get to snorkel, and the staff are absolutely friendly, and you get to have a delicious barbecue buffet. This is quite a popular activity, so I do recommend that you pre-book, or once you do land in Rarotonga, you book this in ASAP, but it's a definite yes from my end. Number two is the Rehab Party Bus. That is definitely one of my favorite activities that I did in Rarotonga. Now, if you're visiting the Cook Islands and you are looking for a night out, I definitely recommend doing the Rehab Party Bus. You have two different companies that you can choose from when you are on the island, so make sure you're booking this one. The cost is $45 per person, and they come and pick you up from your resort. They take you to four different pubs and you get to pub crawl around and stay for a little while at each place. The tour usually operates on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. It's a popular tour so make sure that you book that in again as soon as possible. Everything in Rarotonga does get booked up very very quickly so make sure that you secure your spot. My highlight from the party bus was definitely the bus itself. It had such a cool vibe. It was really good meeting different people. You have LED lights, loud music, and you're just driving around the road to different pubs. So absolutely loved it. And I give it 12 out of 10. Again, a thumbs up from me. Number three is the cultural night. If you are heading over to Raro, you have to make sure that you check out at least one cultural night. There are several options available and there are many resorts that do offer different types of performances. By the time we got to Rarotonga, unfortunately, most of the resorts were booked. Um, but fortunately, we managed to get ourselves tickets to the Edgewater Resort Cultural Night. We paid $65 per person for a barbecue buffet and a beautiful cultural performance by the locals. The show started at 7 p.m. and it ended at about 10.30 p.m. I would rate it 8 out of 10 only because it was a little bit more longer than expected. So if you're on time restraint, then I do recommend looking at different resorts as well to choose the one that works for you. But these are the top three things that I do recommend that you do if you are visiting Raro. Just before you guys run off, I have really quick tips for you guys um, so that you're well equipped before you go to Raro. Number one, the most commonly asked question, what currency does Raro Tonga use? They use New Zealand dollar. So you can either take some cash over to Raro and you can also use your card as well. They do have Westpac and ANZ Bank available in the main island. So my second tip is definitely take some sunscreen and insect repellent. You wanna make sure that you're well protected. And number three is transportation. There are several ways that you can get around the island. Either you can hire a scooter, you can rent a car, or you can use the public transport. If you are going to be using bus as your main transportation, then I recommend that once you get on the bus, you ask the bus driver for a concession pass. You can definitely save a couple of dollars this way. It's quite easy to get around the island on the bus. There's only two ways. One is the clockwise and the anti-clockwise. So regardless of which side you get on, you'll definitely do a full loop. Now, these are all the tips that I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoy your trip and let me know how it was in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.